I will share with you today 10 hacks that you need to know about perfume and fragrance. Three, two, one, let's do this. Hi, my name is Monica Choh and on this channel, we talk about fragrances. So if you're interested in fragrances, press that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's get on with today's video. So first fragrance hack, to make your fragrance last longer, your skin needs to be moisturized. So the perfect solution to this is actually using Vaseline, for example. I've got a little pot of it, I left it at work, but usually what I do, I just pop it over on my pulse points and then I spray the fragrance on top of that. And that makes it really much more long lasting and it just adheres, like the fragrance adheres to Vaseline so much better than our skin. So that is one tip to make your fragrance last the longest it can possibly do. Number two, to spray your fragrance in textiles and natural fibers. So for your fragrance to last the longest it can possibly last, it's important to spray it actually on fibers. And one of those fibers could be your hair, because this is like a textile. And I know so many people say, oh, don't spray a fragrance on your hair. But if you've got greasy hair that like really doesn't dry out, like me, doesn't really dry out, I don't mind spraying alcohol on my hair. But alternatively, you can also use hair perfume which is it has less alcohol in it so then it's better for your hair so if you do that your fragrance will last really such a long time it makes a huge difference another thing is spray your clothes especially natural fiber fibers such as um, silk cotton any like cashmere those fibers they just do something and i think it's like it's probably the chemistry side which i'm completely like horrible at chemistry but i've heard that fragrance latches on onto fibers much more than our human body so yes it's true that fragrance and alcohol can damage fibers a little bit but to be honest i haven't experienced that and i do spray a lot of fragrance on myself so if you want your fragrance to last the longest spray it on natural fibers or in your hair third hack is to spray your fragrance at the back of your neck and that is a little hack because if you do that you will just leave a most beautiful intoxicating trail of fragrance behind you because when you spray it on your back and you just walk past somebody somebody will be like whoa whoa, whoa this person smells amazing so it's one of those things I, that I do, I spray it at the back of my uh, neck and also my hair. So even if I'm walking past somebody and my fragrance latches on, well, the fragrance latches onto my hair a bit more than my body, then I will make sure that I just smell great to people around me and that the fragrance just wafts or wafts, I think it's wafts in the air um, a lot. So that is one trick to really make other people smell you more. Number four is if you don't like spraying fragrance on your clothes or hair but you still like it to last longer, moisturize your skin because yeah fragrance doesn't latch onto our skin as, um, as good as fibers and textiles but it does stick on our skin better when it's moisturized. So the best way to actually moisturize is to moisturize straight after you shower whilst your skin is a bit damp because then you'll um, lock in the moisture and usually uh, moisturizers are an occlusive sort of cream that just keep the moisture in your skin and uh, prevent it from escaping. A moisturizer that I absolutely love and has been recommended to me by by a dermatologist and I love it is the CeraVe moisturizer this is very very affordable non fragrance because having fragrance in um, a body product actually makes your skin dry out so it's counteractive to what you're trying to do this is fabulous this is very nourishing but it dries so it doesn't leave your skin sticky and it's just so good full of good ceramides 
which are like the things that keep your your skin's elasticity great and you can get it in america or in the uk and it's so affordable but yet so so good i really recommend it i use it on my body and my face and it's excellent so i really recommend it so do that straight after you come out of the shower even if your skin is a bit like wet it'll just wait a little um for it to all dry off and then apply your fragrance on top and that will ensure that your fragrance lasts a bit longer so i'll link this cream down in the description bar below the fifth hack is actually not to try and mask your body odor by a fragrance because that is something that is just not great to do it will not work even if you put a good fragrance on top of like just a bad odor it doesn't work so i would recommend you not to do it so even if you know that you're smelling bad and you want to wear a fragrance don't do it this will just make it so much worse be sure that you shower often that you keep your hygiene great and leading on from, from that use a deodorant that is great smelling very fresh and also makes you feel clean so that when you apply your fragrance you will actually smell great so this is my actually sixth point that this point is leading into and i want to mention two of like the best deodorants that i've found one for a guy one for a woman so I really love this is my favorite one for a man old spice white water this could be a fragrance in itself wow this is so fresh so refreshing I do love it but I think it's discontinued in some countries now the white water smell the other one I like is the green one it's like bear wolf or something that is like this but it's got a more lime sort of scent that one is amazing also 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 so link them down below wow i love it i love it on my husband and uh, i sometimes i'm like <sighs> So good so fresh and it will keep you smelling great um for a woman i do really enjoy the dove as price and this one i got is a pear one but i usually just go for the basic um the dark blue cup or the like beigey one they smell uh, they smell very clean and like laundry almost they're just great and you'll just have a great pace to actually apply your fragrance on Number seven is to use fragrances that you might not like as much anymore because sometimes you go of fragrances as a room spray and I do that quite a lot with fragrances that I stop liking for whatever reason or at the moment I just don't like but I still want to use them and because often you spend a lot of money on fragrances you can actually use them as a room spray and they might be actually better in the air in the room than on your own self so if you don't like a fragrance just spray it around and see how it smells you can actually make it your go-to home fragrance that everybody will recognize your home for smelling and that will be something amazing and you'll save some money too because you won't buy any more of those house sprays and actually perfume lasts longer than those um, house sprays so win-win number eight and another great tip is to decant your fragrances to make sure you smell great during the day so some fragrances don't last as long as others depending on the concentration and the scent profile for example heavier sweeter fragrances often last longer than for example like your pretty flowery ones so if you want to make sure you can be smelled all day long decant your fragrances into those little pods i'll link my favorites from amazon down below and the important thing is not to have a transparent one because they often sell the transparent ones but with transparent ones the cologne or perfume can often get damaged from the sun rays and stuff um, and it's just better to get one that is 
black or something and um, not clear and another thing is that if you're spending hundreds of pounds or dollars on a fragrance you don't really want to carry that fragrance with you in your bag because the bottle will get damaged and I've done it so many times and I was like why have I done why have I done it to myself so I either decant my fragrances to keep them safe and my bottles also safe from my bag and it's like a Mary Poppins bag or I take my fragrance with me if it's like a 30 ml and put it in a little dust bag if you place an order a fragrance order from Dior they actually supply you with a little dust bag which is lovely so I would really recommend purchasing from Dior directly because I got mine from there and I just pop my fragrance in there just close it and then my fragrance is safer no scratches no anything number nine of a fragrance hack is actually to make your clothes uh, smell great is to put those I've got like wooden bowls actually I'm going to get them maybe if you want your um, clothes to smell great and also be protected so that they are great smelling for your fragrance later because the most awful thing is when you wear clothes that just have this weird smell of like not fully drying or like a bit musty because they haven't been worn for a while and then you apply fragrance and it just doesn't go. I do recommend these. These are cedar blocks uh, that you can buy from Amazon. I'll link them down below. And cedar bowls that you can put in your clothes like in your clothes drawer or whatever or hang uh, where you hang your suits or dresses or anything like that and this actually these blocks smell great they're just wood i actually need to resand them and they're reusable so yeah when they stop smelling and stop actually giving off that wooden fragrance you just sand them down a little bit and then they're just as new also so one they make your clothes smell fresh and they protect them also too from moths or any like clothes bugs because cedar actually repels bugs so we had a bit of a problem with moths and i was like oh this is not going to work but it actually got rid of all of them uh, so they're quite amazing so you keep your clothes protected and smelling great so these are like my favorite little hacks so my 10 pack to make your fragrance last longer is to buy another base fragrance that will make your fragrance project i know what you're thinking like what what does that mean so if you've got your favorite fragrance that doesn't project much into the air or doesn't last there is a way to make it last longer so you can buy another fragrance i think initio does one aaron turns hughes does one uh, a couple of companies do them it's a base fragrance and when you put it on your skin together with the fragrance that you want to make longer smelling it actually does something where it projects it off your skin more and makes it more longer lasting so that is a great hack if you have a delicate fragrance that you just love but it doesn't last definitely get yourself one of those elongating fragrances and it really works it's not just like something you say but it does actually work um I don't know how chemically and stuff but it does i'll link them down below um, and i haven't heard many people talk about it so that is a great hack let me know what your hacks for fragrances are down below i'm sure everybody would love to know i post every monday and thursday and occasionally on a saturday so do press that notification bell to get notified of my latest video because otherwise youtube just doesn't let you know um, and let's read the comment of the day because if you didn't know i do read your comments and i do like to shout out one of your comments if you are subscribed and also press the notification notification bell my comment that is favorite from this week is from lucas nguyen he says wait new intro love it <laughs> love the video as well thank you so much for noticing the new intro because i have made it a bit shorter with m and also just changed it a little bit and i think it will be fun to change it from time to time for example like spring autumn all the seasons just a bit a bit of an update so thank you so much for leaving your comment 
remember if you love something just wear it press that thumbs up for this video and i'll see you all again very very soon